Hey guys, welcome back to Can Outdoors. Um, I just got off work and there was a package waiting for me. Um, my new bow just got here. My dad ordered it for me online and had it shipped to my house. Uh, for those of you that don't know, my dad lives in Tennessee and I live in New York. And when he found out that I was getting into uh, bow hunting, he decided he was going to buy me a bow so I don't have to borrow one. Um, but it turns out there was some kind of confusion as to uh, the bow that they were supposed to ship to me. He sent me a picture of it and I'll show you a picture right now on the screen. I was supposed to get that bow. I did not get that bow. The bow that I got is real similar to that in color. And it is right here. I've already opened it up. I'll show it to you real quick. This here is a purple one. And I'm supposed to get the pink one. Yeah. And it's not a compound bow either. In case you don't notice. So whoever screwed that up. Uh, we're going to have to write a letter or something. Because this ain't right. Something's wrong. But I'll still use it, and I will definitely be the envy of the hunting club. Everyone will want to shoot my Blitz Wolf purple 35 pound bow. Everyone's going to want to shoot this. I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> just kidding. Actually, my real bow did actually come in the mail. And I'm going to open it up and show it to you real quick. I'm sorry if I got your hopes up with the purple bow. I'm sorry. And since I don't really have a table in here, I've just got this little desk and it is not big enough. I'm going to open it right here on the, uh, the couch that I have in my YouTube studio. the right bow. <laughs> we got it in this bubble wrap that is going to be far more entertaining than the purple bow. in there so hopefully everything is on it but we'll find out here in a second this is the bear salute it's not exactly a flagship model but that's not what I was looking for being that this is my first year hunting with a bow uh, this really looks like a nice quality bow Yeah, I mean, it looks good. Everything's already attached that I can see, except for maybe the peep sight, which I hope they included, but we'll find out here in a second. I'm gonna set this gently right there so I can get these zip ties off. Hopefully get these zip ties off without scratching up my bow. This is a sharp knife, but I don't want to take any chances of scratching the bow or cutting my fingers. Okay. Alright. Now well, that's off. Okay. Yep. The peep sight is included right there with the owner's manual. So, 
That's a good thing. It is. It's a three strand peep sight. The D ring is already attached, or the D loop is already attached. Looks pretty good. Appears to be set at 28 inches out of the box. I am not sure what this is for. I'm not sure what that's for. I'll have to look that up. Because the bow that I'm borrowing is a bare pledge. And it doesn't have that. I don't know what that even is. I'm sure you guys probably know what it is and you're wondering why I'm not sure. But I'm new to this, so yeah. Don't know what this thing is. We'll find out. Read the manual, we'll find out. But first impressions are this bow looks like it's very, very well made, just like most other affordable bear bows are. The sight and whisker biscuit rest are, of course, all plastic, but there is virtually no movement in that. It's not as wobbly as, as I've seen on other people's bows. I don't know, but we definitely got to, we're going to have to paper tune the crap out of this because that whisker biscuit is all the way that way. This uh, D loop looks like they just kind of eyeballed it. We might have to move that a little bit, but I'm going to get this thing adjusted. I'm going to get... The paper tuning going on and then I'm gonna get the sighting in all taken care of within the next few days oh okay it's just information on the bow the uh, axle to axle length and all that stuff but that's a 50 to 70 pound bow and of course right now it's at max it has a draw length adjustment from 20 to 30. And there's a few things I'll need to get for this. I'll need to get a quiver because it doesn't come with a quiver. Now, there, this bow online, you can get it with a quiver for $118 more for the Trophy Ridge 4-Banger, which is $25 at Walmart. They charge an extra $118 to put the quiver on. Anyway, so my dad sent me this bow. He bought it for me for my first year of uh, archery hunting. So thanks, Dad, if you're watching this video. This is awesome, and I cannot wait to get this thing tuned and sighted in. And hopefully take a monster buck with it this year, because there are a lot of monster bucks that roam these areas and we got about 5,000 acres of hunting property so hopefully we can find one and get in front of one this year but yeah super excited that is the bear salute that's just my first impressions I don't know if you can see that it's like backwards and it's not just the camera it's actually backwards because that's the bottom There you go. Anyway, stay tuned to the next video. I'm gonna do some tuning and some sighting in. Hopefully get some of that on camera for you. And then we're gonna start shooting some groups and see what we can get. Have a good day, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you later.